What's up Aquarius? Welcome to my channel. My name is Robin and this is uh, Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, I'm doing your month ahead tarot card reading for April 2021. So I will be using the Steampunk Tarot deck to do this reading for you. I'm going to do an intuitive read. Um, I'll pull as many cards as we have to to get the message channeled through me from my spirit guides. So I'm really interested to see what's going on in April because it's my birth month and I'm an Aries. So I'm pretty pumped to do these readings. I always am, but you know, sometimes a girl's got to be, you know, focused on herself. But anyway, this reading will be about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any Aquarius cross watchers. And this is going to be based on the energy that comes through to me through the cards through my guides at the time that I pull the, the cards out for you. I feel like I'm just butchering this intro, but anyway, guys, I'm going to do this, and then I'm also going to pull an oracle card. This is the Angels and Ancestors oracle card deck, and it's the first time I've used them, so I'm actually just going to put them up here for now. Uh, all right, so I'm going to start pulling cards because I'm at risk of going on to a babble fest, so... Aquarius. Oh, a card just sort of wedged itself out of the de out of the deck. I was going to say desk. So this is quite fascinating. I'm going to show you guys this hermit card and okay. Just release what you know about meanings of the tarot cards you guys because I get channeled messages from my guides, okay? And they start talking as soon as a card makes itself known. So I do have the hermit card here. So there, what I'm getting is there is a contemplation of a different environment for you guys. And this could have come at the end of quite a lengthy consideration where you maybe listened to other people, but then you had to just sort of go within yourself to find the truth for you, whatever applies to you. Maybe realizing that this is your life to live, this is your journey um, and everybody else is basically a bystander. So this particular hermit is, and it seems like there is some sort of electrification coming through to the lantern that he's holding up, but there's a city in the background. There's some new way for you guys to live. And it's probably going to be revealed to you at the end of a contemplation or some sort of meditation, or maybe just blocking people out for however long you need to do that. I see people doing that on social media. You know, I'm gonna take a break and work on myself. So you guys could really just go, okay, you know, it's time for a reassessment. I am gonna do some meditation here for myself. Maybe a day, maybe two days, maybe seven days. You know, who knows how long it's gonna take you, but definitely um, connecting to that higher power as it shows with the electricity um, running through that lantern. Okay, I'm not gonna put the cards up, up there yet. Is it, I read them better when they're in front of me, okay? And I got just got huge applause from my guides. They're like, yep, good choice, so. Um, this is really cool. So I've also pulled the Nine of Cups for you guys. So there is probably even a new crowd for you guys where you fit in a little bit better. And maybe you felt a little bit quirky and off track and outside and maybe not even comfortable in your own skin. Um, you know, possibly just being on the periphery of everything else and trying your best to fit in like a you know a round peg into a square hole you know and just it's just no matter how hard you tried you didn't fit in but there is something here waiting for you with open arms and it's just on the horizon with this hermit card so the nine of cups always reminds me too of having a financial windfall because this is where you are basically kicking the doors open and entering in um, a new phase of your life. And I'm, I'm seeing a new crowd for you guys too, a new like tribe, like and your vibe that you attained going into hermit mode is gonna attract different people because it's like possibly you are accepting less than what you are worth. 
and just didn't know any better. I have to pause for a sec. So anyway, this is going to eventually put you in a position where you're able to host tons of people. And you know what? I don't generally talk about the pandemic, but there could be something too, like your region could be opening up where you're living, um, the restrictions could be dropping, uh, so there could be a celebration here. My guides don't usually show me uh, results of the pandemic or stuff like that, but I am seeing where things are going to lift for you, almost like when a fog lifts. If you've ever been in a really heavy fog, and you just can't see anything. And it could be like your life feels like that right now. So definitely something to celebrate. And probably a sum of money or a new business that is going to be very profitable for you. Where you can share that. And the emotional connection with the Nine of Cups is really also a beautiful energy. Um, I really just see a different, like a shift. You know, okay, you people are great, but not exactly you know, again, you're not vibing with them. They're, they're, the energy is a little bit off. You might feel drained, you know, and this could be a romantic partner where you're working right now or just your group of friends and you've just been doing things maybe almost at an automatic, like almost like sleepwalking. Um, okay. Ooh. So we have the Empress card. I love the imagery of the steampunk tarot because it's not shy. And this is a very, like, the seductive siren call. The Empress brings in new levels, a new sort of modality to your life. I think you guys could really benefit from checking out your moon sign. Um and see what's going on with your moon sign. I think you guys are operating from one sort of mindset, especially if you strongly identify with the qualities of your Aquarius sun sign. Um, and Aquarius, you guys are so powerful, you know, and you're just really, like, really like to be headstrong. And I feel like you guys are just super under underappreciated where you are. And that you've been probably feeling this call, this pull here, from the Empress and she has new beginnings and new portals of time to open up for you. You also might want to check out your sign modality. Um, that's fixed, cardinal and mutable, you know, to see where you are and see where you might be able to um, be more effective in your life. So the Empress really wants you to like sort of come hither, like come over here. And I've been sending you dreams and messages and, you know, there's a whole new life for you. And the Empress and the Nine of Cups imagery, they're so similar. So it's like this Empress is you and it might be a little bit nerve wracking because this is like, doppelganger you you know on the other side of the decision it's like you might have two doors in front of you and you might constantly be choosing the more difficult journey I'm just getting an image of where you know Neo has to take either the red pill or the blue pill um, and one is going to show reality and one is going to show the matrix so it's like the matrix is going to dissipate in a good way so you guys can really live your fullest life here and this could all start for you in april and if you start to see signs of your region opening up a little bit i really see that as being linked to your future okay um regulations they could be changing and you've probably spent the lockdown or the, the bulk of the pandemic um, not seeing this time off or layoff or, you know, separation from the collective. You've been seeing it more of a curse as than a blessing. I'm going to pull another card here, you guys. 
So you've got the five of pentacles. So just like I was saying there, um, you know, there was a, a blessing in disguise. Okay. So the five of pentacles is a reminder that you might feel like you're stuck out in the cold wintry blast, but it happened for a reason. There's a lot of people that are theorizing that this pandemic is the trigger for the global ascension and i'm i'm kind of one of those people i don't want to get into that but there is a perception that um you know instead of looking at things that are going kind of wrong quote unquote in your life are there to provide blockages there are opportunities and then this is a really cool five of pentacles stained glass window and it's also giving me the sensation of sort of a magic carpet. So you could be, again, like maybe you should look at what is going on in a different way, you know, and instead of cursing what is going on, just really find a way to reinvent yourself and come out the other side bigger and better. Um, you know, and that might take hermit mode. And you could be taking on other people's energies, you know, how people can be so negative. Um, and if you're with the wrong crowd, you're probably going to follow that. But there is a disassociation in order for you to see your destiny instead of the 3D matrix destiny. I hope that all made sense. Those are the messages that I'm getting. This is really interesting. So I was just shuffling the angels and ancestors oracle card. This is the first time I've ever used this deck, you guys. And you guys are the first sign I have ever pulled a card for. So this is a great teacher. And this is like, he's releasing something, you know? And it's like letting something go. And that could be the biggest teacher that you guys could ever have. Um... Learn from spiritual, I have no idea what that says. I need to find a light here, you guys, hold on. Okay, so this is to learn from spiritual experiences. So that'll be different for each and every one of you, but you are being offered the choice, you know, red pill, blue pill. One is gonna take you to your ultimate happiness and one is gonna keep you tethered to the collective that you probably don't even like that much you know so if you are being offered multiple choices and a chance to go off by yourself to sort of ruminate on what is going on with your life it's the perfect time to do that and it does look like you will be contacted by your spirit guides um this really reminds me of jesus and he is you know besides being um, you know, a holy man. He is an ascended master, right? So there's a very powerful connection there. So you don't have to be super religious to connect with Jesus. Um, he, um, you know, he relates to everybody, just not a church. So there's something deeply profound here for you guys to discover about yourself. And I just got a message that if you guys have been contemplating this, <clears throat> it's like that door, red door, blue door, is closing quickly. So the change has to be contemplated and executed probably before the end of April. So kind of compelling and life-changing for you guys. So I'm going to leave it there for you. And I hope that all made sense. <laughs> Take care. Bye.